we've got our site design and we want to show this site actually in uh, Google Earth. So what we can do here is go to our output tab and on the output tab you've got publish to Google Earth. By publishing this to Google Earth you don't have to have Google Earth open when you're doing it um, but you can see here that you're going to create what's called a, a KLMZ file or a KMZ file and you can send this to other people so they can open it up inside of Google Earth. You can select uh, publish and view so if I want to publish it out to a website um, I can put in a hyperlink with a full description text string um, and then that way it can be other people can get to it. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name I'm going to select next. You've got some other information I can either use all the models or I can select certain uh, uh, objects in model space. I don't want to bring in the profile, so I'm just going to select my objects, and I'm going to use this button here to actually select them. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just take all this information right here, and actually I'm going to remove the existing ground surface and just bring in the rest of my data there. So I'll right click on that. Uh, again, publish and view, whether I want to publish text, a publish entity information or publish uh, materials. Uh, I'm just going to say publish entity information. We'll select next and I can change the orientation if I wanted to, um, you know, where it's at, user defined transformation if I needed to, or I could just send it out to the uh, state plane coordinate system, which is what I'll do here. Go ahead and select next and now I can adjust the elevation so I can nudge this down. I can say uh, relative to ground, uh, relative to sea level, um, or drape entities on the ground. All right, so I can use any one of those options. Let's go ahead and select next. And here is the actual link. So it's going to save this K, uh, KMZ file. This is the file that you'll send to others if you want those others to view this KMZ file inside of Google Earth. Then all I'm going to do is select publish. And I've already done this earlier, so I'm going to overwrite the one that's there. And it's going to go out and it's going to publish this out. It will launch Google Earth for me. I already have it launched, so it's going to display it for me. And it will display my site within Google Earth. So when I go to view here, you'll see it's bringing up my site. And there's my design within Google Earth. And it actually will zoom me in, but I click to stop it. As I zoom in, you can see that now my site design is actually overlaid on my Google Earth image. If I uh, go ahead and rotate this around, you can see that it's been draped on my surface. So I can look at what it looks like in relationship to the other information. It's pretty flat in here, so there's not a lot of relief. But if I had a really nice 3D model with houses and stuff, and this was a subdivision design, I'd actually be able to see what that design looks like in Google Earth that quickly. So that's, uh, that's pretty handy. And that gets saved, you can see it gets saved over into your places. So if you want to turn that off, you can easily turn it off. 